there's key junctions in the horse's body, usually key joints that connect to many other areas. And in this video, I want to just give you a visual of what those key parts are. So I'm here with catfish. I'm also here with uh, some horse bones and we're gonna do a demo for you of these key parts of the body. Thanks for joining me here. I'm Callie and you're watching the weekly show here at Horse Class. And I wanna go over these key junctions of the body because when we understand the interconnectedness of everything in the body, we can see how when we have a problem in one place, whether it's an injury, whether it's inflammation, or whether it's just tension that the horse is holding because of maybe poor saddle fit, maybe a dental issue or a hoof imbalance, or maybe us as the riders aren't doing a good job of allowing the horse to move freely. We are unbalancing them in some way or our tack doesn't fit. So there's so many different ways that tension can build up in the horse's body. And when we can better understand these key junctions and have this visual for them, we can potentially see when our horse may be having a problem there. So the key junctions that I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna start here at the front end of the horse. And I'm gonna start with the TMJ. This is the temple mandibular joint. And the, the muscular and the fascia connections from this really go through the body. And you can feel this yourself if you tighten your jaw. So our TMJ, right about here, and if you just think, tighten the jaw, can you feel that actually tighten the rest of your body? Maybe even all the way down to your feet. The same thing happens with our horse if they're constantly straining against the bit, or if they've got a dental issue that's causing pain, or if they've had some kind of an injury that might be creating inflammation. So let's look at the TMJ here on our, our horse skeleton. So this is the TMJ right here. Again, it's this, this kind of bony protrusion that we can see here on catfish. And I'm just going to lift my horse skull here so you can see the action of this joint. All right, so this is where the mandible, which is the, the lower jaw, connects here to the skull. And this allows the horse to open and close their mouth, but it also allows for this circular kind of grinding motion that we see because the horses are a grazing species and when they chew their food, they chew more in this kind of a motion instead of just chewing like this. Okay, so that's the TMJ. Now we're going to look at another important part of the body, which is the connection of the atlas, which is the first cervical vertebra. That means the first vertebra of the neck. And it connects here at the horse's pole. So this, you can see on our horse skeleton, this creates kind of the top of the pole that we can feel. So for example, if I come here on catfish, I can feel this on him right here. So then deep in here, not at a place where I can actually feel the joint, but the the atlas is gonna connect here at the base of the skull. And this is a really interesting joint too because we can see by the anatomy of it, it allows for this nodding motion, okay, for this kind of a motion, but it also allows for movement back and forth. So when we're asking our horse to flex is the common horsemanship term of, you know, we want cervical flexion or you want flexion at the neck, that's happening a lot here at this joint. This is another key part of the body because when we've got tension here, or if the horse has um, inflammation here, then we're not going to be able to have that even movement to both sides, which can show up as a horse that feels like they are leaning in one direction, are harder to turn, feel more stiff on one side, um, even things like not picking up a canter lead, because even something at one small part of the body like this, especially at these key junctions, will affect the rest of the horse's movement and their balance. All right, so just kind of a quick primer so you can imagine this in your mind of the anatomy. 
We've then got the cervical vertebra coming here in the neck. That's the, the neck vertebra. Then it changes to the thoracic. The withers are actually the spinal processes of the thoracic vertebra. Here we've got, got it changing to the lumbar vertebra. So you can even imagine this in your back. Lumbar vertebra here. Now we've got another major um, part of the body, key junction in the body, and that's the sacroiliac joint. So we can see that here with our pelvis. So first, I'm just going to hold up the pelvis so you can picture how it sits. So we've got the top here creating this, this um, place that we can see, this high point. We've got the point of the hip that you can feel. Catfish has a lot of uh, muscular covering. We can feel his right in about here, right in there. Now we've got the point of the buttock back there. And we've got right here, this is actually the hip joint. This is where the femur comes in here to that hip joint. All right, so this sacroiliac joint is where the sacrum connects here. So when we think about the amount of power that the horse has, those huge hindquarter muscles, and how much thrust is coming from the hind legs and the pelvis in order to propel the horse through our flying lead change, over a jump, squatting to do a sliding stop, um, even squatting to go down a steep hill on the trail, all of these movements and these athletic things that we ask our horse to do, there can be a lot of stress in this joint. And sometimes it's actually called a hunter's bump where there's noticeable um, kind of external inflammation, or at least that we can see externally that comes over this joint. But this is a very common place for um, especially horses that are performing, more sport horses, to have issues. And again, where it can really go to the rest of the body. So here are just a few of the key junctions in the body. There's, of course, many other places that our horses can have problems. Tension can develop in the horse from just daily life and being in the field and having a slip um, or a tussle with another horse to foot balance, to uh, dental balance or issues, and also to our riding, how we sit as the rider and how we ask the horse to move. And when tension builds up in the horse's body, it can create um, stiffness or it can create um, pain or restrictions in the horse's body. And this is why it's so important for us to recognize these things that our horses, especially in many problems, it's not the horse trying to be bad, but it's the horse reacting to what they're feeling in their body. And this is why I'm so passionate about helping our horses <laughs> with, um, with body work. Catfish is pretty curious about these bones. Helping our horses with body work. And at Horse Class, we have recently partnered with Jim Masterson to create a new program called Gentle Body Work. I'm really excited to have this program for you as it's really going to help any horse from the weekend trail rider to the true equine athlete. So there's more information down below for gentle body work with Jim Masterson where you can learn very simple and light techniques to help your horse release tension in many areas of the body, but especially around some of these key junctions that we talked about today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please like the video, and leave a comment. Leave a comment down below. If you're watching this anywhere besides horseclass.com, we have many more free resources and premium courses on all things horse, all things riding and training. So I would love to see you there, and I'll see you in the next video.